Oh, sorry, I've just got to start again because of the video. Yeah, hang on a minute, just a yeah. second. There with. I knew this would be chaos. Hello, Melanie. It's lovely. Hello. Right. Angela, do you want us to all mute our microphones? Will that help you? Because there's quite a lot of background noise. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. So. Yes, please. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Going to the annual. And you can all just hear me. Which is what you want to do, obviously. Okay, right. So, hello, everybody. Um, welcome to this uh, first virtual book launch. Well, not the, the, my first virtual book launch, let's say that. Um, so, yeah, th big thanks to Simon, obviously, for letting us use the lovely Museum of Computing. Um, so, even if I can do it from a place rather than from my dining table, which would not have been <laughs> massively interesting. Um, yeah, no, no wine fuel shebang that I normally do um, because of the pandemic. Hey ho! Uh, so, yeah. um, I, shall, I shall be having one very shortly. Don't you fret. Um, a few words about this book. Um, hey, the book, the book, the, the third book. That's, 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 that's third rent them up. Um, I've had to drag them in off the street, especially. Um, not your average guidebook, um, but then I'm not your average blogger, I would say. Um, yeah. <laughs> who's agreeing with say that? Say that again. You might want to mute yourself, <laughs> Um I'm losing my thread now. So, yeah, so the seed for this book, I mean, this is, you know, like, we're four books in now, um, if we're including the one about the artist Ken White. But this one, this is this is the very one that I really, you know, had the idea for when I was at university um, doing my English degree. Um, I was doing a travel writing module in my third year and I submitted a couple of pieces uh, for the portfolio of work about Swindon. One of them was um, a travelogue, a literary piece, a travelogue centred around the West Swindon Sculpture Trail. And the other piece was um, a guidebook entry about the magic roundabout, an imagined entry for an imaginary, an imaginary guidebook. Um, and for the crack, it's here, it's in the book, it's in the back of the book. Um, yeah. But imagine it no more, because now we have one, now we've got a guidebook. <laughs> Is um, there? Back what? time, back time too. Um, and so, although I'm a non-driver, I'm really fond of the magic roundabout uh, for fairly obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you because, because you're a non-driver it's um yeah you know so obviously because i wrote about it for my degree i got a first for that piece i got a first for the module and not a lot of people know this because i don't go on about it very much but i actually got a first for my degree yeah. <laughs> and can you Annette, can you mute Annette, Annette, can you mute yourself please yes <laughs> Thank you. Um, I thought I'd get that one in because Simon Webb rolls every time that, that subject comes up. It's a standing joke, that's why I talk about it. So anyway, the, the, the real message about this book, and for something that I started to tinker about, oh God, well, six years ago really, um, and has suddenly become very timely because of the pandemic, it's about finding the joy and the beauty and the interest in the small things, in the things that are around you, you know, rather than looking for the big spectacular things. And if I want, you know, people to take one message away from this, it's that even if something isn't beautiful, and even if something is run down, that doesn't mean that it's not worthy of your attention. And anyway, beauty is a subjective thing for a start. But so, you know, whether it's a blue plaque, or a plaque on a bench, or you know, a piece of public art, you know, from the big to the small, even though they're neglected, doesn't mean they're not worthy of your time and your attention. Um, and it doesn't mean that there's not joy to, ex to extract from things, which there is. And, you know, we all know about the perceptions of Swindon, you know, it's so often described as ugly, which I really hate. It's a very little word, isn't it, ugly, but it says a lot, it conveys an awful lot. And it's not true, Swindon isn't ugly. Um, I'll own that it's dispiriting in parts, I, I will admit to that. Um, but even then, even in the more dispiriting areas of Swindon, look up and there's an interesting building facade, or there's a plaque um, of some description. I mean, my God, do I love a plaque. 
um, all kinds of plaques, love a plaque. Um, so just look around and see, um, you know, what you can find. Now, a few years ago now, my lovely friend, um, Carol Bent, she wrote a lovely poem um, about, um, if you're lucky, um, you see the glitter in the concrete and the sparkle in the cement. And I actually meant those words as a metaphor for life. Um, but I find that they work very well as a commentary on the urban landscape. And particularly for Swindon, you know, this much maligned town has got lots of glitter in the concrete. And I've used, the, I've used the, those words uh, in the front of the book, but an extract from them. So um, I love this, and I also love this poem because it's short. I'm a big fan of uh, brevity in poetry. Um, I mean, that word was, it didn't half go on, didn't it? God, did he warm to a subject. Um, I mean, you know, all those verses to, talk about, verses to talk about a vase. I mean, really? Anyway, so I now need to do a share screen thing. And um, we have a little video of Carol reading her poem. First screen. So in a minute, you should see that, isn't it? Got a different answer. Sure, I won't do that screen. <laughs> so let's see if. Congratulations we... to Angela on the launch of her. We should see her as well. Uh, hang on. There we go. Oh, now here we are. Congratulations to Angela on the launch of her new fantastic book. With congratulations to Angela, I will be able to see that break in my tiny Within book. book years, I've got it twice. I've got it twice. I've got Hang on. And the couple of lines are within. There we are. I'm going to share with you as part of this launch um, as requested by Angela. Here goes. If we are lucky, we all have moments in the spotlight. If we are lucky, we notice the glitter in the concrete, the sparkle of the cement, and we remember to stop and to smile. If we are lucky, we see hearts everywhere, not just in the eyes of those we love, but all around us when we walk in nature, in a leaf blown or a smudge left or a pebble rolling back from the sea. And at the end, this is it, only nature and our family count out. Um, now I'm going to get back to where I was. Let me minimise that. Stop sharing. So they would... So they... Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, mutual. Yeah. Right, mutual. So that was so that was Carol. Um, yeah, I just really love that poem, and um, I just think it really res resonates. So next, so the next item on the list, um, Debbie's, Debbie Bell is probably sat here shaking her head and thinking, "God, what a <laughs> uh, what a mess this is." So we as you know, we're here in the Museum of Computing, which is fantastic. And I will get a photograph of me in the C five later. Um, and we're here because Simon's a friend and he lives just near me. And also, um, it's right next door to Art Site, which is, brings us to the next item, just down here uh, from the Museum of Computing, is Art Site and the Postmodern. And on the side of Art Site and the Postmodern, there's this amazing mural um, by Swindon artist Billy, Be Billy Beaumont, who also lives just up the road from me. Um, and I remember. The first time I saw it, I think I stepped off the bus just here at Regent Circus and I saw this completed mural. And I just thought how joyous it was and so full of colour. So what we're going to see now is a short video of, of Billy just talking about his mural. Um, so I'm just going back to share screen again. So bear with me, please. And now I'm looking for that one, isn't it?
Am I the only one who can't hear anything? No, I can't either. Everything's silent. <coughs> yeah, I can't hear anything either. No, I can't either. No, I've had nothing for ages. No, I can't see. I can't see anything either. Apart An from Angela, you're muted now. I can't see Angela at all. We we'll all have a conversation amongst ourselves. <laughs> yes, no, I'm on. Very weird. Right. No, I was I was muted, I think. Right, let's try again. Try again. Um share screen. That horror behind you. <laughs> right. Uh, oh. oh well. Oh no, I'm not. Right. Stop putting yourself down. What you're saying as well. Stop it. So, right, where are we, Simon? Yeah, um, oh, play from start. Yeah. Bear with, can you hear me now, people? Yeah, we'll meet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. Just, yeah, just nod or something. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the artist has created. There we go. Can, can you hear Billy now? The, uh, and design the nod. Swindon then. Not very, uh, very clear. Um, unfortunately, we were able to get out to. Uh, the original piece, um, but we can just have a intro and talk about where this one is. Um, it's a design based on Swindon Town in the past, the present, and possibly in the future, and it incorporates famous people going through the ages, well, from when there was first settlement through the ages, and then lots of famous people and people that have been associated with um, Swindon above. The central um, design is based on the on the magic roundabout, which he also was able for me to incorporate the canal. And then all the rest are buildings, parks, and some businesses associated with Swindon. Um, it was painted over four weekends by by heaps and heaps of residents of Swindon, not just by myself. And there was a survey put out asking people what they would like to see in the mural as far as the people were concerned and the buildings. And um, I was able to incorporate all of the suggestions. And like I said before, over four weekends, invited lots of people from Swindon with or without any art experience. And we um, painted this rather large mural that's in the, in the town centre. So it's on Theatre Square. And it's just by, uh, just opposite the Mecca. If you're going down the road there, past the Mecca on your right hand side, then you'll see the mural on the left. Um, it's the little walk through by the bus stops uh, on Theatre Square that's just by Number Nine Gallery. And that's it. So thank you very much. Thank you, Billy. I hope we all managed to sort of more or less, more or less hear that. Um, so the next thing then we'll come to is a piece of music. You're uh, no, thank you, Billy. Oh, you're there, aren't you? Yeah. No, that was great. And yeah, so I've written a trail into yeah, you know, I'm here, yeah. <laughs> a new a, a new Swindon exploration thing, and the, the mural is is um, mentioned in there. Is pinpointed. Um, so the next thing we're going to have is a piece of music. Now, we all know, of course, that, you know, Swindon's got a rich history um, in all aspects. But first and foremost, of course, has to be that of the GWR and the works. But besides that, of course, there's been an astonishing outpouring in Swindon of literary and artistic talent, a lot of which I wrote about in Secret Swindon. Um, so in the next person that we meet in this piece of music, um, that collides, Lit literature and the GWR works collide because it's a song about a chap called Alfred Williams, um, the ham also known as the Hammerman poet. Um, now, Alfred Williams was a polymath, there's no doubt. Um, he worked in the works, but he taught himself Latin and Greek so that he could then learn the classics. And the story goes that he learned the letters, the, the characters, by chalking them on his furnace and his foreman would come along and rub them out. Um, he wrote poetry, he wrote books, he collected folk song lyrics, um, but the most notable of his books is probably Life in a Railway Factory, 
And of course, as I said, that's something that Alfred Councilor, would know. Of. I'm really sorry, but I'm only getting little bits of words. There's something wrong with the sound. It's probably Angela. Yeah. We're only picking yeah, up every there's, fourth there's word. Wrong with the sound. Um, I think there's I a bandwidth know. problem. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I have a lot of problems. Oh, Bob, hello. Um, Probably a bandwidth thing. Um, I have this trouble at home with it. Can you hear me at all? You might have to give it up. Right, what I'll do is we'll try, we'll just go to the. Okay, can you hear me at all? Oh, God. Is it freezing up? Did I freeze my video? Take my video off. Would that help? It, it, it might, but I don't think it's. it's right. I don't think it will help, actually. Okay. Hoping that you can hear some of it. Um, Mute. Can anybody hear me? Can you hear me? Wave, put your mute, you. Not into that, Debbie. I have no idea what that meant. But I... <laughs> okay, can you hear me? Are <laughs> hey there? Shall we just give this up as a bad job and have a glass of wine? Um, okay, what I'm going to do yes. now is, in the hope that you're hearing. I can't see you though, darling, just your beautiful picture. Um, well, uh, that's all right. We can only see your book. Where are you? Let me just try and play this and uh, see if it works. Any... Anyway, so. Uh... Wrong book. Wrong book. Let's see if we get this. <laughs> it's oh, well, it keeps telling me you are. Now <laughs> that's what I'm dropping. Yeah. Every time it drops off, it seems to be. Oh, it tells me you are. Oh, this okay. is great when we watch it back on Facebook. <laughs> ah, you're back, Angela. It's an artistic piece yeah. about this, I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> Hopefully not sorry for the advert. <laughs> <laughs> you mean... Unmute yourself. You're muted, Angela. See you today. You're fitter. Great to be great. I'll trade for a song, man. Let it go. Brilliant. Wasn't Swindon investing a huge amount of money in high high speed band um, yeah. broadband in the town centre so. about, ten years, yes, about ten years ago? About yeah, it never happened though, did it, Roger? Right, I'm in. The, oh. I'm going to try now to go to um, <laughs> put another shilling in the meter, Angela. <laughs> I'm going. Well, pen. I guess we're all buying the book anyway, so you know. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you're from the um, performing arts academy. You could do a little interlude. Shall I start singing? Uh, I can't make Billy, it. you can paint while I sing or dance around the garden. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm on the go already. I've never danced in the car though. That could be interesting. Yeah. Right. Sorry about this, people. I'm going to call it a day because it's just throwing me out the whole time. Um, it's just been recorded for posterity. <laughs> it wasn't in a bit as well. It's hilarious. Yeah, I don't think so. The record button's not showing. Right, we are we are on Facebook. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Right, I think Facebook Live is still running. I missed that. So, if you want to pop onto my board, Should we go on Facebook Live then? Facebook Live. We'll try connecting to that. Oh, Facebook Live. Because um, mm. this is just not worth That is some mug, Billy. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. That is some mug. Why are you apologising? Thank you. For it was the collector's piece, but unfortunately, got a little tip in it. Sorry, it's been such a disaster. <laughs> it has been a disaster. It's a fantastic achievement, Andrew, and we're all really proud of you. Well done. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now I've got lots of little individual videos and stuff. What I will do is I can post them all on the Born Against Windonian Facebook page um, and you can access them all from there. Um, yeah, no, the technology is letting us down, that's all. So thank you for coming, uh, coming on. And um, as Rod Hebden says at the end of his uh, little thing, buy the book, <laughs> buy Angela's book. But I will post it all on Facebook so you can find it all there. The My company background. I, th I thought I'd um, ended the meeting. I haven't got a clue what's going I on. I think you just need to when you probably, Julie. Uh, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure if it, I wasn't sure if it was from Hampstead oh. to all the born against Miss oh. Yeah, so I think it's born against Windonian. Born against Windonian, I think. Yeah, Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Born against Windonian. Okay. And this shambles. Logging this for you as well. Shambles of the Zoom. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming and I'll speak to you all soon. Nice to see you all guys. Bye bye. Yeah. Um,